Firstly, African markets present an incredible opportunity for U.S. businesses and global businesses in general. Uh, seven of the ten fastest growing economies in the world are in Africa, and there are diverse opportunities in various sectors from agribusiness to energy, the services sector to consumer goods. The U.S. Africa Leaders Summit really is kind of an unprecedented gathering here in Washington. We're going to have 45 heads of state and hundreds of African dignitaries accompanying them. But additionally, we're going to have uh, business leaders for the first time. A, a summit of uh, U.S. CEOs and African CEOs is going to take place on Tuesday. And I'd like to see a lot of new deals, new partnerships formed, and the general view of Africa change kind of in the American media and beyond to see Africa as a destination for business and investment rather than just aid or health products or kind of traditional security partnerships. When the summit finishes, I think a lot of people will be interested in the follow-up on that summit. You know, will companies go and visit? Will CEOs uh, explore opportunities? Will new partnerships be formed? And regardless of how the summit goes, I think the demographic trends of the region, the economic trends of the region, really show that African uh, opportunities are going to gain more attention in the global corporate discussion, uh, not just in the American ones. So I think we'll see a lot of companies looking to do business in, in African markets. And we're going to see kind of a general 180 of the view of Africa that's existed in the US and among the business community. And new companies are going to invest every day. So I think we'll see more and more headlines about American companies doing business in the region, having challenges and having successes.